Here's something to keep in mind when you're lighting your band. It's the concept of set it and forget it with auto programs versus some simple programming to really drive home the story of the music that you're playing. Because that's what we're doing when we're being in a band on stage. This is a performing art. We're telling stories through the music that we're playing and lighting can really help drive those stories home. So most LED fixtures come with auto programs built into them. They're really handy features because you can just select an auto program and let the lights do its thing. Same with sound activation modes. These are really handy for things like when an, a dance floor is open, you sort of have an open dancing portion of a reception. But that auto program is not so effective when you're trying to really have a dramatic effect with your music because what can happen is over time, and I see this happen with a lot of bands with beginner lighting rigs, they tend to put things on auto programs and leave them on there all night long. So what you have is a constant blinking or fading or chasing and after a while the audience gets visual fatigue and the impact is sort of taken away. Remember, the main purpose of band lighting is to be able to see the performers, but a great other aspect of band lighting is to help tell the musical stories that we're trying to portray on stage. So. Rather than just set things on auto programs, there's some really simple ways that you can get some just quick changes between sections of song. And what we have here is we have a four bar LTBT and we have two color band Q3 BTs up on the rig there. These are both, all three, Bluetooth compatible fixtures. They do have auto programs built into them. But for the sake of this demonstration, I'm gonna play a little section of one of my songs. This is kind of a, uh, a blue song. It's kind of a, a lower energy song. But if we just look at some simple ways through BT Air to communicate wirelessly with these lights, to change the look between verse, pre-chorus, and chorus, and even blackouts at the end of a song, you can really kind of get an idea of how this can be uh, effective ways to get that emotion through in the music that you're playing. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my BT Air app and I'm just gonna select a, uh, a blue color for the verses. Um, and then as we get to the pre-chorus, I'll change through BT Air and then again, a little higher energy for the chorus to drive that chorus home. So if the verse sounds like this, We have that nice kind of blue feeling to match the blue of the song. And then I'm gonna get into a fade, a slow fade for the pre-chorus here. So a simple change, just with a touch of a button or a foot switch, and then we go to the chorus. So it's a little higher energy to drive the chorus home. And you can see I've literally pressed my phone screen three times. And it's just those little touches that can really make the difference between set it and forget it and a, a kind of more effective light show. Now again, a lot of these lights also come with wireless foot switches, which is really, really convenient, especially when you have your hands full with guitars or keyboards or something else. Usually what I do is I'll have a, a, a stand that I put an iPad on or my phone that has a holder if I'm using my phone, but the foot switches really come in handy. So let's look at the same exercise using this Bluetooth compatible foot switch to communicate with these lights that'll just scroll through those same scenes. So again, we have our blue for the blue feeling of the verse. And as we get to the pre-chorus, we will change the look right now. So now we're into our slow fade for the pre-chorus. And with the touch of my foot switch, I'm into that energetic chase for the chorus. It's that simple. Right from your phone, right with a foot switch, right as you're playing your music. It really makes a big difference. And of course, with the touch of a button from my phone or my foot switch, I can black everything out at the end of the song just to punctuate the end of that song. So keep that in mind, now that you've added lighting to your band rig, some simple ways to really create some drama with the music that you're playing. It really makes a big difference. Hope this helps. I'm Jeff Short with Show of A DJ. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.